have. Am I at work? No, I'm not at work. Oh, we do have a software update. Let's get it. All right, that's what's up, that's what's up. Okay, let's just do install now. And like I said before, you can double tap, triple tap, one, two, three. There we go, and it starts. Perfect, all right, so we'll be back tomorrow. More to come. Hey, you. we're back, we're back, all right. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back to the Tesla. Let's get on with the uh, the update information. Um, so a lot of people talk about like the big updates. Obviously, V10 just came out, but nobody talks about the minor updates. And well, there's a pretty good reason why. And you'll you'll probably see why in a second. But let's uh, let's see. So we're still running on V10, V10.0. Uh, so clearly, it's just going to be bug minor bug updates because there's not even like a major minor version change so let's just hit release notes version 10 what's new in this update version 10 see it's the same thing over and over and over spotify feeling lucky maps improvements mobile app uh joe mode software update improvements application launcher it's all the same it's all the same but it is nice to know that they're looking out for you they push those bug fixes and it's still cool in general when you get those bigger updates there is some cool stuff that comes with it, like, well, Spotify, I don't have Spotify, but that would be kind of nice. Joe mode. Um, anyways, let's, let's get on with it. We're heading to Katie's, so uh, I guess I guess let's roll. <laughs> well, the acceleration, it really never gets old. It doesn't, um, but, but you never know how Katie's is going to be now. It's an October, October morning, early morning on Saturday, nice and dark at 610 still. And uh, well, it's definitely hit or miss. So hopefully a good turnout today because it is pretty warm. It's, it's already in the 60s. Um, I, you probably can't see me, but let's hope for the best. Let's see what we can see today. And uh, hopefully we got some nice, uh, nice rare cars, some gems. Hopefully there will be a nice crowd and people will come out on this nice warm late October morning. Yeah, so let's roll. into Katie's and it's pretty sparse yeah so it's 6 37 a.m. I'm thinking it's not gonna be too I mean 6 37 it's pitch black outside so when you pull up at 6 39 and there's nobody to your left for days you know it's pretty sparse <laughs> the MSO roof scoop. This thing looks sick. Six hundred LT. Gorgeous. It's a six hundred LT. Ah! <laughs> oh, with the super oh. with the top exhaust, that's super lightweight and brings off like fifty pounds. I think. Well, once it's light outside, we can see the spec of the 600 LT. It's gorgeous. Nice blue accents, white car, carbon fiber roof scoop, fender louvers, top mount exhaust.
so the 570 is what a 600 LT is based on. As you can see, no one's over here, but everyone is at the 600 LT. All these classic cars, we got chasing classic, classic cars filming here right now. That's the main guy. We have the videographer. Now this car over here was a custom build. And the seats and interior, I think over 10 alligators were used. No joke, he goes to Potomac. 10 full alligators for that interior. Five million dollar BMW. It's crazy. Type 507, 1957 BMW. One of these went for auction in 2018 for five million dollars. That's crazy. Until that Lamborghini's valves open, it sounds so quiet. You can hear it off in the distance driving off, but driving through the parking lot, I barely hear it. Whoa, check out this Jeep. This thing is sick. It's like an old school Gladiator. The Gladiator made a comeback because of this. This thing is sick. Wow, check that out. Bare bones. Stripped down metal interior. That's pretty wild. Those Alfa Romeo four C's sound pretty good. What if instead of the V8 Vantage, you get a Lotus? Maybe not an Elise, but the Exige. It's a little bit more pricey, but uh, you can find some for around 40 to 45, I think. Probably closer to 45, but they look like fun little cars. Still got a six speed manual. <laughs> like little go karts for the road. And it's potentially a convertible. Actually, no, they have the roof scoop usually, meaning no convertible. Gorgeous MSS spec. All of the blue paint. You have the roof scoop on the top, 600 LT. Such an absurd car. It's different. I mean, it's different. Top mount exhaust looks incredible. That's what I'm saying. This guy even got it specced with the uh, Senna carbon fiber seats, racing harnesses. That's sick. Front fender louvers. Brabus. Brabus on the shifter. Brabus. 
Brabus. Brabus. Brabus. Brabus. Brabus. In case you weren't sure, this is a Brabus Mercedes. Whoa, 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 whoa. These cars are pretty sweet. It is a manual GT4. Holding their value very well at around 80,000. Ultra light carbon fiber wheels, pretty sweet spec. And then over here, we got a GT2. You do not see these too often. These things are awesome. Got a six speed manual on these with the Alcantara wrapped steering wheel. You got extra scoops in the tail there to take air in for the engine. These cars are absolutely gorgeous. That's the 600 LT. Dang, I missed it. Oh, that thing sounds so good. Absolutely gorgeous 997 GT2. Incredible car. Not bad. And then a new Supra. Another another good Katie's experience. I mean, for a for a late October uh, morning, not too shabby. I guess the temperature is not too bad outside. That 600 LT that was here. That car was sick. Parked right over here. That car was gorgeous. I mean, very very well specced. I, I I love the way it was specced. It did kind of remind me of an i8 though, because the i8 it has that like hybrid uh, you know drivetrain. So they have like the blue for the electrification and whatnot. So it kind of reminded me of that, like the white car with the blue accents, but. Irregardless, that car looked pretty, pretty insane. Um, just all the MSO paint on the car, the roof scoop, all the carbon fiber options. I mean, it had like that full carbon rear bumper. I just can't, I can't imagine what that costs to get replaced if you have any issues. But uh, fantastic car. And then apparently they were filming uh, Chasing Classic Cars. Um, I mean, it was the guy from Chasing Classic Cars. It was, you know, the white mustache uh, and all of those older hot rods. So that BMW that was sitting there, somebody said, wow, I've never seen one of these in person. I mean, I obviously had no idea what it was. There was no badging on the back or anything like that. But it's a 1957 BMW 507, something like that. Apparently, one won at auction in 2018 for $5 million. $5 million. I don't know if there's a story behind it or what, but that's absurd. I'd rather have like an F40 or F50 for less money than that. Uh, with a Ferrari that sounds incredible, looks incredible, probably drives better. Um, but I mean, hey, to each their own, right? Ooh, 458 naturally aspirated. That car was there too. We got a nice naturally aspirated 458. You don't see those as much. You see the 488s, which have the uh, the turbos. But either way, pretty good turnout today. And I, I got to look up that 507 BMW because I've never heard of it, never seen it. And I would have never guessed that that was a $5 million car. Um, but anyways, I'm off to go golfing with my dad. So uh, on that note, that's going to wrap up today's, uh, today's vlog. If you guys enjoyed the content, please, please consider liking and subscribing. But until next time, thanks for watching.